Okay, on this video, I want to show you how to make a sub-report in Crystal Reports. Let's say on this example, uh, we're showing our orders, and here I have the customer ID, I have the order ID, the order date, the freight amount, and the order amount. But I'm not, not actually showing what the customer ordered. That's because that information is on a different table. It's on the order details table. Plus, each order is going to have more than one detail line potentially, so we call that a one-to-many. So one of the best ways to represent a one-to-many in Crystal Reports is with a sub-report. Now, really, to do a sub-report, you need two separate and distinct report files. So let's call this one the, uh, the order header or the order master. So now I have this example already set up. I'm going to pick on a file open. And actually, I have this, uh, this report called Orders Details. Now, see how we're in a completely different report now. This report is, is just showing the, um, the order ID, the units in stock, the units price, the quantity, the product name, and the line total. So notice how there could be more than one detail line for the same order. Notice how 10248 is repeating itself numerous times there. So how am I going to get this information onto the other report at the same time? Well, that's when you use a sub-report. Now, uh, in this kind of sub-report, it's very important that the two reports have a common field. And the common field, uh, in this case, is the order ID. So let's put this away. And now I'm back to the main report. Uh, I'm going to go back to design view. And in design view, um, I'm, going to, I'm actually going to put this report, this sub-report, into the details section. So I'm going to expand the details section by using the, uh, the section break, dragging that down. Now, uh, not every time does the sub-report go into the details section, but in this case it will. From there, you're going to pick on the insert menu insert and then you're going to say sub report now if you wanted to I guess you could make a, a new report right from this screen but when I do this I almost always have an existing report already there so I want to say choose an existing report and we'll pick on browse that's going to open up Windows Explorer from here of course you're going to click uh, point to that second report so let me scroll down and we're going to find one that's called uh, the orders details all right, there it is. I want to double click on that. So that's, that is going to be the sub report. Now, what's going to be very important is you have to tell Crystal what the common field is when there is a common field. So you pick on link over here. Then in this case, these are all of the fields for the order header or the order master. So we're going to pick, uh, pick on order ID. And now it, it, these are all the fields for the sub report and it found the common field. If you wanted to use a different field, then you would click on that pull down and then use a different field from the sub report. But typically, it would be the same field, and you would have built that in to both reports that they have a common field. So this one is the uh, order ID. I'm going to click on OK. Now, notice your mouse takes on the shape of the sub report. So I'm going to move that right into. I'm going to move that right into the code here, into the detail section, and I'll click there. So notice how the details report is now embedded into the main report, and that's why it's called a sub-report. Let's see what that looks like when we run it. I'm going to pick on preview. Okay, now look, this is exactly what I was hoping for. Here's order number 10273. That's the order header. And then here's all of the detail lines, 10273. And now we can see what that person actually ordered. And it's showing the one to many. One order has many detail lines. Uh, so... Here is 10515, and it, you can see it's showing the details for 10515. That's called a one-to-many. Right, uh, here is 10765. Now, this one only has one detail line, but you can see sometimes it has more than one. So uh, that's really why it's called uh, one-to-many. And then um, the, one of the best ways to represent that is with a sub-report. Let, let's just review that. To make a sub-report, you really need two different reports, two different RPT files, it's very, very important that they have a common field, at least in this kind of sub-report. Then um, on the main report, you say insert sub-report, 
you go ahead and browse to the second report you click on that and then you tell um, crystal reports what the common field is and that is how we make a sub report here in crystal